back to my channel as you can tell from the title of this video this video is going to be a video um of me doing natural hairstyles on my tight four hair i'm doing four natural hairstyles i'm gonna try to i just i don't know why i let this video over well it's not really a do over it kind of is but i don't know my hair is in a different state now my hair is all natural as you guys can see curls no straight pieces all natural even though i slept on it and it looks a little nasty right now also before i get into the, to, into the video for real i'm not used to wearing lashes like this so these lashes look weird on me don't don't be on my head in the comments like take it easy because um <laughs> I don't really like these lashes that much either, but this is what they look like. I don't know. Maybe it's because my hair not done. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know. But um, the first hairstyle I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a cute little hot puff. I'm going to do the hot puff first because the curls in my roots are kind of thick right now. So I think it's that's the best time for me to do it. Let me move this down some. So yeah, if y'all see some of my shirt, it's because I put my eyelashes on and the glue flipped on my shirt. But, but like, they're like little specs that like flipped on my shirt but anyway i'm just not gonna talk about that so the stuff you're gonna need for this video is some gel i'm gonna use eco style gel and i'm also using style factor for my edges probably and i'm gonna use my pillow soft curls to go in with my hair i already put some in so yeah got this from target all right you can get both of these from target to be honest but i got this from target i got this from the beauty supply store and ugh, i'm out of breath and you're gonna go you're gonna need some hair ties i have a lot of hair ties but for this um particular hairstyle you're gonna need a you can either use a shoestring, um, something that's meant for it. This is not really meant for this hairstyle, but I'm going to use this because I can't find my other ones that I have. I don't know where they went. And you're going to need a brush and all that stuff. So, well, I'm going to talk y'all through this because y'all, in the last video I did something like this, y'all said I didn't talk enough. Hold on. This thing is up too high. Okay, so the camera is fixed the best I'm going to get it. It looked kind of cricket to me, but I don't even care at this point. So, um, I forgot what I was even talking about, y'all. I don't even know. But um what was I saying? You can use a shoestring or you can use something regular. I'm gonna use this because it's all I have for at the moment right now. So what you go oh I was talk I was talking about how the last video I wasn't talking about the like when I was doing the video I wasn't talking. So I'm gonna talk this time. Um if that makes y'all feel better, I'll talk. So um you're gonna take your eco styler gel and you're gonna just brush the you're gonna brush the surrounding parts of your hair. Basically just the outside, like around the edges. This is the only part you're gonna be brushing. And putting up together you don't have to brush the back you don't have i mean not the back you don't have to brush the um inside of your hair just brush the back like this because what you're gonna do is put a rubber band on it anyways and or shoestring whatever whatever you're gonna use headband whatever and it's gonna come together and also make sure you have a pick i forgot to tell y'all you're gonna want to pick for this as well i'm gonna sit this right here um where did it go where did i put my oh here it is so you're gonna flip your hair back, put this on like this. And since this is bigger, I'm gonna have to go around twice with this. It's so skinny though. I just prayed it don't it don't pop. Cause I got a lot of well I don't got a lot a lot of hair, but this is a lot of hair that this little thing gotta get over. So like this. You wanna wrap it around twice. You don't have to do it twice. Actually, no, I'm gonna cut this and tie it because that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. So uh, I'm gonna cut this real quick. Okay, so I cut it and it's looking like this now. Only reason I cut it is so I can make this easier for me to do and so it won't give me a headache as well. Even though I'm not going to have this hairstyle on that long because I'm going to switch to a different style. But that was hurting. So what you're going to do is tie this and basically just slide it up. Some people do theirs from the front. I do mine from the back. I mean, yeah, from the back basically. And just push this like this. And just slide it. Slide it until you find the desired length that you want. I think this is good enough for me right here. I think this is good enough. And then what I'm going to do is just pull it to the front and then tie a knot. Without tying the hair up in it. So let me show y'all what I'm doing. Tying this, tying a knot. Hopefully this don't mess up. After the knot is finally tied, what I like to do is go in and, you know, pick my hair out. This just makes look makes your hair look fuller and you know makes your curls pop, makes your curls look really neat and nice. So this is the first style. I, don't know, I think for some reason this side of my hair is longer than this side. Like I don't understand why. Let me see. And I'm gonna try. To, I'm thinking of hairstyles I go that are not the same as I've been doing before because I know you're probably like you doing the same videos over. But I'm trying to change up the hairstyle so it won't be the same because you know like a lot of people probably 
I already know how to do styles that I did in my other videos. So, oh, this is just the go-to style that I always do. But um, after you do that, you can go in and do your edges. Swoop some edges down. Because this is really cute, y'all. Like, oh my god. And it's like, it looks even cuter now since I don't have any straight pieces. Because like, I used to have straight pieces. And it used to look so weird to me. I actually try to like hide it with bobby pins and swoop it and all that. Not swoop it, but y'all know like wrap it around it. And it was giving me like complicated vibes. Okay, so this is how I was looking. I did my edges and all that, you know, make it look cute or whatever. This is how I was looking from the side and all that. You know, this is really cute. So this is the first style. For the second style, I'm probably doing some like ponytail or something for like two puffs or something. But this is just style. And I think this is really cute. Okay, for the second hairstyle, like I said, I'm going to do two hot puffs, well, side puffs, hot puffs, whatever you want to call it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to part your hair down the middle. Me, personally, I'm going for, like, a cute, messy look, I guess you can call it. I don't really care if they going to be, if my part going to be straight or not, even though it probably will be because I'm using a rat tail comb. But then again, if it's not straight, I really don't care because I want it to be, like, messy, curly, cute, and all that, I guess. So, what I'm doing, party. And put this side in a ponytail or whatever you want to do with it. Separate it. Separate this side from this side. Now with this side, I already have well, I already have some gel in my hair, but I'm gonna brush it like this. Brush the back. And if y'all also a tip, if you want, if, I cannot talk. Oh my god, I'm getting on my on my nerves. Like what? Also, if you um got shorter hair and you don't have um. Like, if you won't look cute in a ponytail, you can cut a hair tie up and you can slide it to make it. It's like, a, it'll be a puff. I don't know if y'all understand. The way I did the hot puff, you can do that with the side puff. And, um, basically, your ponytail will look bigger. But I think my hair has grown to the point where I can probably do a ponytail like this. And it'll actually look kind of right. So, this is all I'm doing. You know. See, this kind of looks kind of cute or whatever you know my hair is grown thank god i'm just glad my curls look so cute like look at my curls oh my god uh, y'all don't understand oh let me talk let me tell somebody commented under my video when i did my wash routine or whatever they said um my hair was permed or whatever i guess people was confused or whatever i don't know now if you watch my old videos my hair i did perm my hair but my hair was natural for when i was on my channel a little bit like a little bit if you go like all the way all the way back my hair was natural as well it was natural then it was perm my hair was actually shorter so my hair looked a little different from what it looked now like the texture looked a little different and the only reason i feel like my hold on that's not even the only reason i feel like the texture looked different is because my hair was shorter when your hair grows this is how i think when your hair grows your curls well, your curls loosen up, I feel like, because your hair, when it, I don't know. You know what, y'all? I don't know. But all I know is that then my hair was somewhat permed. Um, I have no clue, y'all. But my hair was also natural at the same time. It was natural in some parts back then, and it was permed in some videos. And then I cut it all off, and I did it like this. So now this is the final result and stage and all that. This ponytail seems a little higher let's fix that okay so this is how this looking this is looking really cute right eh, eh, i look so cute so i'm gonna do these edges right quick oh i'm already messing them up already like dang let me do these edges this is so freaking cute like i'm obsessed oh yeah also we do curly hairstyles for like a week i can definitely do that because that's like seven hairstyles but i'll probably just do the five days like <laughs> I'm, I don't think I'm that committed to doing YouTube videos that in every day like that. But I used to, but I don't know. But here's the second hairstyle. This is the second hairstyle, you guys. And this how this is looking. They look a little different. Well, unevenish, but it's okay. But this is this one. And I think this is really, really, really cute. Okay, for the third hairstyle, I'm gonna do a top knot bun or whatever. Y'all already know how to do my top knots, or whatever. I've came a long way. My ponytails look way better now. They don't look as small as they used to look. So, um, for the top knot, um, you're just gonna want to brush your hair up. I'm not gonna actually do my top knot like how I would normally do it, like do it, do it, because first of all, I don't want to put all that gel in my hair because I was just I just washed my hair like when I did my wash routine. That's that's when I washed my hair, and it's like I'm tired of putting all this product in my hair. So what you want to do is brush your hair up into like a ponytail or something like that. And you want, it's going to look something, it, it should look something like this. Then go in and tie it tight 
I like mine tight. It gotta be tight. Can't be no other way but tight because if not, it's gonna look weird. And then it should look something like this. Now, I like to pick my, look at this y'all. The back of my hair ain't even in there, but that's okay. And the reason it's like that, like the reason the back of my ponytail is not in there y'all is because I did not, um, what's the word? I didn't gel the back of my hair. So what I'm gonna do is just bobby pin that because I'm not going to put all this, all this gel in my hair for no video. Okay? Because it, mm -mm, no. So we're just going to bobby pin this. And it'll look like you won't, you won't be able to tell that it fell down or nothing like that. So boom. This is the top knot. I think it's cricket. Is it even sitting in the middle of my head? I don't even know. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Is this thing cricket or wopsided? Okay, so this is top knot, and I'm just gonna go and do my edges real quick. This is how this is looking really, really cute. This is hairstyle number three, by the way. So this is how it's looking. Who is texting my phone? Y'all, who is texting my phone from the video? Anyways, y'all, I really like this a lot too. And I didn't put no edges right here in the front. I don't know why. I just feel like I didn't, I didn't like how it was looking, so I took it out. But um, yeah, this is how this is looking, and I think this is cute as well. So stay tuned for hairstyle number four. Which I gotta think of because I don't even know what I'm gonna do for hairstyle number four. Okay, so for the fourth hairstyle, I decided to do two sleek, like slick to the back, two buns or whatever. So we're gonna see how that goes. Cause I don't wanna sleek my hair all the way down, like into no one ponytail or nothing. So what I'm gonna do is sleek my hair to the back. So I gotta make another part again. Mine probably not gonna be that neat or what is it? My ponytail is probably not, well, my part in probably not going to be even, but hey. Oh, oh my God. I'm struggling. But it don't, I don't even care at this point. So, um, let me see. Separate all of this from this and that from that. So now, what we're going to do is basically, um, ooh, something itching on my eyelash. Go in with a little more gel because I have to slick this down. Slick it, slick it. So I guess you can call it another two puff or, or puff, whatever you want to call it or whatever. But um I just want to sleek two sleek low buns. And I haven't worn this hairstyle in forever. Like I haven't worn two sleek low buns, I don't think since high school. Like I don't I don't remember wearing I don't even remember. No, maybe I haven't. I don't know. I honestly don't remember y'all. So what you do is if I give you one a regular bun or something like that. But I did flip the hair, so my hair is in a bun right now, and I'm gonna do what I did to this side to this side. So it's really self-explanatory and easy. I hope these even, cause they're probably not gonna be even. But if it's if they not, it's okay. Okay. Let's see how this is turning out, y'all. My hair be giving me so much hard times, like. Why do you want to do this to me? So I am going to puff it out or like pick it out to make it look a little bigger and more fuller. Just a little, just a little bit. Now I'm going to go into my edges and I'm going to come back once my edges are done. So I was editing this. I realized I didn't ever come back and show y'all the hairstyle. Y'all, I got sidetracked when I was taking the pictures for the hair, like for the thumbnail and stuff. That I didn't even come back and show y'all what the finished product was. So when I come back, I'm going to have a whole nother hairstyle. It's basically just a slick back. But, um, y'all, I apologize so much, but I hope you guys, you know, still enjoyed the video. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a real big thumbs up. If y'all want to see me do more natural hairstyles or want to see me do four hairstyles with braiding hair, let me know because I know y'all, some people want to see hairstyles with braiding hair and then some of you guys don't. Oh, yeah, and I just went ahead and put it into a little bun or whatever because, you know, I feel like this looks more me, more elegant. So, here's an extra hairstyle. If you were confused or if you wanted an extra hairstyle, here's a bonus hairstyle. Even I didn't show you how to do it, but you know, I just slicked it back. But uh, anyways, oh my God, it's like I cannot talk right. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said earlier. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.